Hi, this is Brandy Kosky with Diets in Review. I want to tell you about an exciting new thing that's happening in grocery stores starting October 2008. The Yale Griffin Research Center developed a brand new nutritional indexing system called the Overall Nutritional Quality Index, or ONQI. And the brand name that it might be referred to as well is called NuVal, N-U-V-A-L. The index is a way for people at a glance to just look at a food item and know how nutritionally dense it is. Their goal is to do away with the classification of a good food or a bad food. They want people to look at this index number and just know immediately if it's nutritionally worthy. The index is based on a scale of 1 to 100 and each food item is assigned a number. They're working closely with grocery stores to implement this new ONQI system so that the index number will show up alongside the food item in your grocery store. This will take the place, you know, like if you're on the bread aisle, you can compare the food labels on, on bread packages and see which ingredients, what the nutrition facts look like, and get a better idea. But when you're in a place like the produce section where nothing's labeled, you can't see the nutritional factors, the index will really be helpful to help you kind of get an apples to oranges comparison. And according to the ONQI index, if you've never compared apples to oranges before, oranges are actually more nutritionally dense with an index of 100, whereas apples have an index of 96. So I want to give you some more examples of how this works. So you're going through the grocery store, which has 45,000 items, and you want to know which foods are most nutritious for you and your family. So take, for instance, fresh produce, like blueberries and strawberries. These items have a nutritional index of 100. So they're perfect according to this scale. They have the most, they're the most nutritionally dense. But then move down the list a little ways and you've got non-fat milk. And non-fat milk has an index of 91. So it's still very nutritious, not as much as fresh produce. Moving on down the list for some more examples. Pasta. Pasta has an index of 50. So it's right in the middle. And your kid's favorite is probably peanut butter, and this has an ONQI index of 23. And then further down the list are hot dogs, America's backyard favorite. Hot dogs have an index of 5. Um, so nutritionally, they don't offer that much. At the very bottom, you have things like soda and candy and popsicles with an index of 1. So that kind of gives you an idea of the 1 to 100 ONQI index of where you can foods will fall on that scale. I encourage you to look through dietsandreview.com to have, find more information about this new scale. Uh, the, the program just launched in larger markets and larger grocery chains, so keep a lookout for those on your grocery store shelves, and they promise that more grocery stores are queued for early 2009 to start showing these. Hopefully it's a way for Americans to just run through the grocery store at their grocery list and at a glance find out exactly how healthful the foods they're buying are really. Thank you. Again, this is Brandy Kosky for dietsandreview.com.